Hey, hello, my name is Alice, and in this video I want to talk to you about K environment. Well, there are several types of K environment. Uh, there is K1 and K2, and K2 has further subdivisions like MK4, MK7, and a lot more. But well, the, the difference is that we can find K, K1 in green leafies and K2 in fermented foods and animal foods like Asia cheese or a chicken and beef liver. They have different functions according to the type. Uh, the most recent research suggests that vitamin K2 might have protective properties against chronic diseases as arteriosclerosis and osteoporosis. So it's crucial to get enough K2. But there is a really difficult to get it from the diet. Uh, here in the link I put I put down a research article that I I have found extremely useful for watching the amounts of K2 vitamin in different fo foods and after analyzing it I arrived to the conclusion that there is a a great chance that we are not getting enough K2 in our diets for having the benefits from it. Uh, how much should we have? Well, that depends. There is not a clear answer, uh, but the research suggests that for having the benefit of K2, we should have roughly like 140 micrograms per day of MK7 or 40 milligrams of MK4 per day. Uh, now, if you do the math, uh, you will find that uh, the amount of MK4 required is very hard to get, and we can get enough MK. K7 if we eat like se like 100 grams of Asian cheese of the gold type because the amount of MK2 sorry the amount of K2 vitamin depends a lot of how the cheese was fermented so there are very specific types of cheese that have a high K2 amount. These cheese are Gouda, eh, Edam, Camembert, and another ones in the list. Eh, I suggest you to go and see, um, find the one that fits you better. Eh, you must have an account that eh, having these cheeses, it's a lot of saturated fat to the diet so maybe we should take it in care about how much saturated fat do you want to eat in your diet uh, and if you see the quality it, or if you should better choose to supplement your k2 vitamin and avoiding these cheeses uh, well, that's all I had to say. Thank you so much. See you the next time.